Thank you for watching. This is another episode of Major Hustles. This is one of the recent and biggest estate sales that I've ever been to. When I got here, I was so surprised to see so many people was here. I didn't know where to park. They had a sheriff out in the front trying to direct traffic. Um, it was just crazy, crazy situation. But it definitely had some of the most expensive pieces I've ever seen. It was so crowded and congested that I ended up having to go back to my vehicle to get a COVID mask. That's how close and tight it was in there. Um, whoever this person was, um, they left behind a lot of vintage items. And I come to find out later that the lady had passed away and she had been collecting herself the last 20 years. So she had so much stuff packed in this home, it almost looked like a store. No, 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 la puso bien, yo creo que... Ah, este es el que yo vi ayer. Este es el cuarto. This was the second day of the estate sale. So when I was recording this video, the first day, people already had purchased things. I already had them picked up and delivered. So you were seeing the second day of the madness. These items that I'm showing you now in photo style are the items that I actually picked up and took to my storage unit. I did my research on it. These are old enough and I should be able to sell these for a great profit. Thank you for watching Major Hustle's YouTube channel. This channel is sponsored by Ship Solution 6. Now, in this video, you saw it was very crowded. It was a lot of expensive items there. Usually when it comes to estate sales, it'd be a lot of books, clothes, things that you wouldn't want to resell, keep, or even have given to you for free. But in this situation, this particular person had been collecting for years, so it basically looked like a store. Now, when I showed up, it was the second day. So the first day, it was already probably over 100 people probably been in this home, bought things, and I already had them delivered or taken out of the home. So I miss some of the opportunities, but that's how it goes in this business. It's estate sales all over the state, and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, so it's, of course it's a big city, and there's a lot of people getting there on time when it opens. So if an estate sale opens at 9, don't be surprised at 15 minutes early, you, it's already a crowd of people, especially on the north side of town or downtown area. Um, people um, wake up early hit those estate sales and uh, you have 50% of the people that are buying just to keep for themselves. And then you have the other 50% that's buying and probably reselling. That's probably about the ratio. So in this particular situation, I knew I was looking for furniture. And what I found out about furniture, you can make a lot of profit with one customer versus having little small items. You have to find several different customers. 
Now, if this is your first time watching this video or um, watching one of these videos with Major Hustle YouTube, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss any of the videos. You can also go back and learn how to make trash into cash by watching some of the videos about garage sales, yard sales, uh, flipping storage units. It's all kind of free information on this platform. Thanks again for watching. Y'all have a great day.